Have you ever wondered about the man who was notorious for his criminal genius, yet was a paradox of charm and villainy? The man named Charles Peace? Indeed, the tale of Charles Peace is one that has been woven into the fabric of criminal history. A figure of fascination and intrigue, Peace was a man of many masks, his life a complex tapestry of contradictions. But who exactly was this man, and why does his story continue to fascinate us? Born in the heart of the Industrial Revolution, Charles Peace was a man of humble beginnings, yet, beneath this simple exterior, lay a mind of extraordinary cunning and resourcefulness. A talented musician and artist, Peace possessed a knack for the arts that was as profound as it was unexpected. His nimble fingers which could gracefully dance across the strings of a violin, were equally adept at picking the most intricate of locks. His artistic eye, capable of capturing the subtlest of details in his sketches, could also identify the weakest points in a security system with a single glance. Yet, despite his gifts, Peace chose a path that was far from virtuous. He became one of the most notorious criminals of his time, his name synonymous with cunning, audacity, and daring. A paradox of charm and villainy, Peace was a master of deception, an enigma who could play the role of a gentleman one moment, and a ruthless criminal the next. So what drew this man of talent and intellect to a life of crime? Was it the thrill of the chase, the allure of easy riches or perhaps a darker motive that we may never truly understand? The life of Charles Peace is a puzzle, a riddle wrapped in an enigma, and it is this mystery that continues to captivate us. His legacy is one of intrigue and paradox, a testament to the complexity of human nature. A talented artist, a gifted musician, and a notorious criminal, Peace was a man who defied convention and expectation at every turn. So who was Charles Peace and why does his story still captivate us today? Charles Peace was born into a hard-working but impoverished family in Sheffield, England, in 1832. This was an era marked by industrial growth and social inequality. The Peace family, like many others, found themselves caught in the struggle between progress and poverty. Young Charles's early life was far from easy. His parents, struggling to make ends meet, labored tirelessly in Sheffield's booming steel industry. Despite their hard work, the family lived in constant financial hardship. This grim reality left a deep impression on Charles, shaping his worldview and perhaps his future choices. Charles's childhood was not only marked by poverty, but also by personal tragedy. An accident in his early years left him with a permanent limp, a physical reminder of the harshness of life. Yet it didn't deter him from the path that lay ahead. Instead it seemed to fuel a burning ambition within him, an ambition that would eventually steer him towards a life of crime. As a boy Charles was no stranger to the law, his first brush with it came at the tender age of 14, when he was charged with theft. This was not an isolated incident, but the beginning of a pattern that would characterize much of his life. As he grew older, his criminal activities escalated, increasing in both frequency and severity. His initiation into the world of crime was a gradual process, driven by a combination of circumstance, ambition and perhaps, a sense of rebellion. He was not born a criminal but circumstances and choices led him down this path. His early life marked by hardship and struggle played a significant role in shaping the man he would become. Despite his humble beginnings, Charles Peace was destined for notoriety. He was a man born into poverty, shaped by adversity, and ultimately, remembered for his life of crime. But as we delve deeper into his life story we'll discover that there's more to Charles Peace than meets the eye. His tale is a complex one filled with paradoxes and contradictions, making him one of the most fascinating figures in the annals of British crime history. Charles Peace's life took a dark turn as he delved deeper into the world of crime. A man of many faces, Peace was known for his audacity and cunning, skills he honed to perfection to carry out his criminal pursuits. His life of crime was marked by a series of daring burglaries and robberies. Peace had a knack for breaking into the most secure homes, making off with valuable possessions under the cover of darkness. His audacious feats earned him a reputation among the underworld, but it was his ability to evade the law that truly set him apart. Peace was a master of disguise. He could transform himself into any character, from a wealthy gentleman to a humble worker, to blend into his surroundings. His disguises were so convincing that he often walked past law enforcement without raising an eyebrow. This talent for deception allowed him to carry out his criminal activities with a degree of impunity rarely seen in the annals of crime. But Peace's criminal career wasn't just about burglaries and robberies. 
His dark path led him to commit more heinous crimes, including murder. Peace was known to be ruthless and cold-blooded, stopping at nothing to achieve his goals. His victims were often left in a state of shock, unable to comprehend the audacity of his actions. Despite his criminal activities, Peace was not a typical criminal. He was a man of intelligence and cunning, a man who used his talents to outwit the law and leave them baffled. His audacious crimes, his disguises, and his ability to evade capture made him a formidable figure in the world of crime. In the end, Charles Peace was not just a criminal, he was a master of disguise, a man who could slip away in the shadows, leaving the authorities baffled. His life of crime may have been dark and brutal, but it was also marked by a level of cunning and audacity rarely seen. Peace was a paradox, a man who lived his life on the edge, always one step ahead of the law. However, like all criminal stories, Charles Peace's reign of terror eventually came to an end. The law finally caught up with this notorious criminal in the late 19th century, marking the beginning of his downfall. After a lively chase across rooftops, Peace was apprehended in Blackheath, London, and his fate was sealed. His trial was nothing short of a spectacle, a grand drama that held the nation in its grasp. The courtrooms were crowded, journalists scribbled furiously, and the public held its breath as the details of his audacious crimes were laid bare. Charles Peace, the man who had managed to elude the law for so long, was finally standing before a judge, his future hanging in the balance. And then came the inevitable verdict. Guilty. The punishment? Death by hanging. As the gavel fell and the sentence was pronounced, one could almost hear the collective sigh of relief from a nation that had been living in fear. But, as the saying goes, you can kill a man, but you can't kill an idea. Even in death, Peace's legacy lived on. His life and crimes became the stuff of legends, his name whispered in hushed tones, and his story told and retold in countless books, plays, and movies. For some, he was a criminal mastermind, a man who defied the law with audacity and cunning. For others, he was a cautionary tale, a stark reminder of the price one pays for a life of crime. But for all he was a source of endless fascination. His daring heist, his cunning disguises, his audacious escapes, all contributed to the myth that was Charles Peace. His story filled with drama, intrigue, and suspense continues to captivate us, drawing us into a world where law and crime dance in a delicate balance. And so, even as the curtain fell on his life, the legacy of Charles Peace endured. His story, a tantalizing mix of crime and intrigue, continues to be a subject of fascination, a testament to the enduring allure of the criminal mind. Charles Peace, a name synonymous with crime and intrigue, continues to captivate us, even after his death. Charles Peace was not just a criminal, he was a paradox, a man of many facets. This statement rings true even today as we delve deeper into the enigmatic character that was Charles Peace. His life was a bizarre blend of crime and charm, artistry and audacity, deceit, and duality. While Charles Peace is primarily remembered for his life of crime, it's important to note that he was also a man of considerable charm, a trait that often allowed him to evade capture. He was a master manipulator, able to win over the hearts of those around him with his charisma and genial demeanor, all while leading a life steeped in nefarious activities. But the paradox that was Charles Peace doesn't stop at his charm. He was also a man of exceptional talent in music and art. He could play the violin with a proficiency that could move even the stoniest of hearts, and his artistic capabilities were equally noteworthy. These talents paint a picture of a man who was much more than just a criminal, a man who could have led a different life, had circumstances been different. Perhaps the most fascinating aspect of Charles Peace's life was his ability to lead a double life. Despite his criminal activities, Peace managed to maintain the facade of a respectable gentleman in his everyday interactions. This ability to juggle two vastly different personas speaks volumes about the complexity of his character. The life of Charles Peace is a captivating tale that blurs the lines between good and evil, crime and charm. His story is a testament to the fact that people are not merely black and white, but a blend of various shades of gray. Charles Peace, a man of crime and charm, continues to be a source of fascination and debate. A true enigma, his story remains as captivating as ever.